I'm going to explain now how the gap between the end of the mouthpiece and start of lead pipe can really affect how your trumpet mouthpiece setup plays. And I have to explain this staff a little bit for you. As you can see, it shows our notes from low C to high C. And if a note is shifted to the left, it means it's flat. And if it's shifted to the right, it means it's sharp. Now, the, this is quite an accurate uh, staff slash graph in that the width of the notes is 10 musical cents. And so if they're overlapping, as these are in the vertical, it means that they are within the realm of human discrimination, which is generally considered to be plus or minus five musical cents. So this was a, one of our VR2 B-flat trumpets with one of our C-cup mouthpieces and a number five coupler, which gives it a, a gap of about 90 thousandths of an inch. And as you can see, it's extremely well in tune with itself. It's definitely at the threshold of human discrimination. All the notes are lined up. They're overlapping. It's very in tune with itself. The next thing we did was to change the gap. We increased it to what would be a number one shank or coupler, and that would give it a gap of about 330 thousandths of an inch. And as you can see, the notes shift around quite a bit. The E top space gets sharp, and everything else gets uh, flat in relation. But you can see that the shift is not linear or even. In other words, they're not all shifting in the same direction and they're not all shifting by the same amount. Uh, let's look at that one more time. Here it is lined up. We change the gap and the notes shift around quite a bit. Some get sharp, some get flat. So when, you're, uh, when your gap is not correct, the relative pitches are not correct. And therefore, you're trying to play the notes and make the horn sound good and be accurate with your attacks and this and that, and you have to compensate for all these weird pitches and stuff. And so I think you can see that having the gap correct is very important to get your horn as well as in tune as possible with your specific mouthpiece. And be aware that the correct gap is the one that works for you. In other words, you have to discover it. If you had the same mouthpiece, the same trumpet, and a different trumpet player, odds are the gap required would be different. And that mostly has to do with lip penetration. In other words, some guys push their lips into the mouthpiece further than the other, thus affecting the pitch from that standpoint.